Hi everyone, coming to you from Sunset Beach, North Carolina. I was able to get out of town shortly after we were let out of school. Unfortunately, we we're missing a lot of our really fun labs at the end of the year, so I thought I would show you the banana pudding recipe that we would have had with our cookout at the end of the year. And I'll post the recipe so hopefully you all can make it. So the ingredients that you need are um, vanilla instant pudding, two of the large size boxes, um, milk, vanilla wafers, and Cool Whip. That's really all you need um, for ingredient, or I'm sorry, for equipment. You just need a large mixing bowl, a liquid measuring cup, cutting board, a whisk, and um, so I'm going to show you how to make it. So the first thing you do is make the pudding according to the directions on the box, except you're reducing the amount of milk that you add because we're going to add Cool Whip to it to make it um, a lot lighter and fluffier. So um, I believe the box says, uh, what does the box say? Beat pudding mix and milk with a whisk for two minutes. So, yeah, the box says three cups of milk, but we're only going to use two and a half cups of milk per um, bag of pudding mix. So, one. I miss you guys, gotta say. All right. So, let me just move this down so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so two bags of pudding mix. My camera is dark. I did wash my hands, by the way. I want you to know. And then I'm actually using lactate milk because my daughter-in-law, who is here, is lactose intolerant, so we're just using some lactate milk. Ah! As you can see, I still make a mess no matter where I am. Okay, remember about measuring, you get down at eye level. All right, that's two cups. We can just blow the door open. <clears throat> I'm going to add one more. I just want to keep that a little bit. And then one more. Hi. All right. So then I think we beat it for two minutes. It'll still be a little bit thin when you put it in the refrigerator for a little while, but that's perfectly okay. So, all of the recipes are on Canvas page. Um, there's a PDF document that says recipes, and you can find all of the recipes that we've made this year so far, and you can find this recipe and I'm going to try to post another one too that I think you'll really like. Um, the lemon glaze scones and I'll post that recipe in addition to it being on the website or on canvas and I will demonstrate them for you. Okay, so you can tell it's beginning to get a little bit thicker, looking more like pudding. Okay, I'm going to guess that's about two minutes. Alright, so this goes in the refrigerator. 
And then I can get my cloth and wipe up my mess. So I do want to remind you to continue with the distance learning activities that I put online. Um, it's easiest if you join the Google Classroom and submit your work in there. I've gotten some really good things from some of your classmates already, so keep up the good work on that. All right, so during the five minutes I'm waiting, I'm going to chop up the bananas. <coughs> Paranoid any time I cough now. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm going to take a break while I cut up the bananas. And you're just going to slice them, okay? Just like this, about that size. All right, I'm going to take a break. I'll be back. <laughs> 